Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we look at how to create a table valued function. So in a table valued function, the table is the return type. So it is a function similar to normal scalar function, except for the fact that instead of returning a scalar value, it returns a table. If you see the syntax for creating a table valued function, it's very simple. You just say create function and function name. And again, if not exist is optional. Here you specify a parameter list that you can pass when you are actually executing the function. And you also specify a return type and note that below this returns, okay, you basically have something that returns a table. So in the statement list, you basically say some kind of select statements or any other kind of statement, most probably it's select statement that basically returns a table. Okay. So most probably in the returns, you will have the keyword table because it's returning a table. And when you execute that function, the entire table that is being generated between uh, this begin and end will be returned. The difference, how it differs with respect to view is that when you are executing a table valid function, you have the power of passing in a parameter list. We will look at a demo of how to create one. Let's create table valid function in Azure portal. So I already have the code to create the table valid function. So let's go over this code. So first I am referencing the database that I'm going to use and then I am creating the function and the function is taking two parameters. One is the year and the other one is the day. So when someone is executing this function, they need to pass in the year value and the day value and only those records that match this because we are going to do a where clause here will be returned. And basically for a function, you need to define a return type. So the return type is a table and that table has a schema with two columns, the date and the total amount column. And here the question mark indicates that it is a nullable column. Okay. So let me give a space here and here begins your actual table valid function. Okay. So basically I am returning at summarized TVF and here within begin and end statement, I am assigning at summarized TVF to a select statement that basically selects the data from your table and applies some filter condition. Okay. So here I am picking up the year and matching that with the one that the user gives and the same with the day. So date is the column name and from that I am picking up the year and matching with the one that user has entered. So let me name the job as TVF and submit the job. And in some time the job is successful. So if you go into your catalog and see the table valid function, you are able to see the function that's been created for us. And it just shows the syntax or the entire code that we have written to create the table valid function. Thank you.